their lack of dignity is embarrassing. They are a failure. They are an utter failure. They're brought up to expect empire and respect and decency and being able to wear a blazer in public and everyone around them just goes <laughs> <laughs> whereas the American hero is the smart talking he's Jim Carrey and Ben Stiller and he's, you know, okay. whoever he just goes all the way back they can wisecrack their way, way out of any situation they win the girl they're smarter they've got the biggest knob in the room <laughs> the British guy arrives at the room and says oh my god I've left my, left my knob behind <laughs> I, I haven't even got one and in a sense, comedy is the microcosm that allows us to examine the entire difference between our two cultures. Ours is bathed in failure, but we make a glory of our failure. We celebrate it. We love the fact that every great British comic hero can go into a dictionary. He's a bit of a Basil Fawlty. He's a bit of a Captain Mannering. He's a bit of a Steptoe. He's a bit of a, he's a, bit of a Baldrick. He's a bit of a Blackadder. He's a bit of a this. He's a, you know, they're, they're characters that we recognize, all of them so flawed as to be an utter disaster. But you can't do that with American comedy. You can't say he's a bit of, who's that chap in Friends, or he's a bit of a, you know, it doesn't really work. They're not characters at all. They're just brilliant repositories of fantastic killer one-liners.